Hey friends, it's Chloe with Chloe's Colorful Plans. Today we are going to flip through my new planner. I got this Moxie Life um, Horizontal Weekly in their warehouse sale. It was like 70% off. Um, and I'm super pumped about it and I hope that it's gonna work as well for me as I really think it will. Um, it's really chunky which I didn't expect and I don't know why I didn't expect that because I've seen like their inserts so I kind of know what the system is like but <laughs> it's, it's a little more chunky than I envisioned but that's okay because it I, I really think it's going to be detailed enough to help me really start working on my goals. So this is meant to be a 2022 planner from January to December. Obviously it's August. Um, but uh, lately I've been thinking that making goals in January is not the right fit for me. I tend to be very seasonally depressed in December and January. And so like, I'm not in a good headspace at that point in time. And so I think that's really why my goals never really go anywhere. Cause I'm setting them in a space where like, it's hard to dream, you know, like I'm not really excited about things and I'm like, I have a self-limiting mindset at that point in time. So I've been thinking for a while about switching when I decide to do annual goals. And my birthday is actually on August 31st, which means it, it's technically the start of a new year. So I think this year I'm going to start because it's less complicated. I'm going to start my goal year on September 1st and I'm gonna do some changes to this planner. I, there's, there's three ways I've kind of decided I could do this. One, I could take it apart and move January through August behind December, right? And, or I can just sit here and just redate everything, um, which I'm going to have to redate January through August, no matter what, right? Cause it's going to need to be for 2023 and not 2022. Um, or I can take it apart completely and punch it for disc bound and then still redate everything. But the only thing about punching it for disc bound would be that I would need to like do some kind of washi tape here on the spine so that I wouldn't cut into the pages because it's just really annoying to me to like have things cut off and be uneven like this is a beautiful planner and I would just hate to massacre it and now seeing how chunky it is I really just don't want to repunch this <laughs> and I'm actually um I, honestly I've kind of wondered why moxie life planners are so expensive but now like holding it like it's like probably the nicest planner I've ever held in my hands honestly um, the paper is really like soft and silky even the o-rings which I'm not overly fond of in general you know I'm a disc girl they're like nice and sturdy and just beautiful and everything is just made so intentionally and like look at these colors they're so vivid like I'm like no wonder this planner is expensive it probably costs them a good deal to make um so yeah so I'm sorry, I started flipping through without really going through. So you start, all that to say, this is the flip through part of the video, I'm just talking, but <laughs> um, it kind of starts with like uh, how to set up the, the planner. You go through, you have a little compass assessment. I've done a few of these in the past because you can get parts of this. Actually, I think all of the goal components you can get on their website PDFs free. So if you're interested, I would start there. Um, just so that you are sure that you're ready for the investment of this or if they're still on sale it might be a good thing to get and redate and then it's like this only cost me I think it was 30 bucks with shipping and they're normally like I want to say like 60 or 70 um so you know just food for thought um so you got this little compass that you do they separate like the sections of life into eight categories yeah so you have personal fun and recreation work and learning family and relationships health and wellness spiritual and personal growth 
financial and then physical environment. And so each of them has like an assigned color, you can see, which I appreciate that they stick to that. And then you go and you say, what are your intentions? What's your word for the year? And then it kind of walks you through like how to set goals, what kind of goals to set. There's more like just information on, on how best to use the planner, which I think is awesome. They don't just like give you the infrastructure and say, go for it. So you've got annual goal. I, this part, I don't think these pages I have never seen before. So I don't think they offer these as PDFs, just FYI. It's mostly like, I know this is there and that's there on the website. And I have used this compass assessment before, but I don't remember seeing this. It might be there and I just might have overlooked it. But so you've got a section in this planner for annual goals. You've got a section for monthly goals. And then there's literally like a space each week for your actions as well. And there's some questions to run through for your week. So they've got um, like examples and things to consider for each area um, when you're writing your goals. This is also available on their website. Then you got like a space for, I mean, look at this paper. It's so like thick oh. space for just mind mapping. And then you get into annual goals and in each one it says focus. And then how will my life improve by, by reaching these goals? And there's a space for a vision board and some tips. And then you get into the monthly. So then you've got a monthly spread and they've got like little motivational quotes at the top and then you get into January goals in each of these categories which you would obviously like take your annual goals and say okay what do I need to do each month to get me there and then you've got a reflection space and then weekly actions for each of the categories and then you've got your weekly spread so um, and then so on and so forth. I'm kind of envisioning, well, okay, when I bought the planner, I was thinking I would take each, I didn't know that this existed. I don't know why. I've seen plenty of people on Instagram. I probably just don't remember, but I was thinking I would do a little journaling, like what did I do today to get to my goals? And then maybe even I considered like taking a picture every day and then like printing them out because I thought that might be fun um just to kind of do like a little like make this like about journaling and making sure that my habits are aligning with whatever goals I set um and so yeah that's pretty much this planner it goes pretty much the same way the whole month which is why it's so chunky. Yeah, I didn't know about this part. That's why it's chunkier than I thought it would be. And then you get into monthly reflections and like, what, what did you do well? What did you not do well? What do you need to do better for next week? And then each of the tabs has like a trust yourself more. They're using the rainbow that they use to do the, the different um, categories, sorry. <laughs> No one benefits when you play small. Progress, not perfection. I'm assuming these change every year. So if you buy like a 2023, 20, whenever they release, which should be soon, I would think they're probably gonna say different things. Um, do it scared. Learn to rest, not to quit. When you feel better, you do better, which is valid. Uh, choose what helps your heart bloom. Own your story. Enjoy the journey, master your mindset, stay curious, invest in your future self. And this is the extras part. So you get some full calendars again in their little rainbow color scheme and then a bunch of lined paper. And then there's, um, there's a little envelope and then some stickers. And then there's another little pouch at the end. So yeah, that's the thrift. Oh, and there's a elastic in the back that you know, the O-rings don't like to be closed this way. So you gotta close it that way. Um, but yeah, this is the Moxie Life Weekly Planner in all its chunky glory. 
I'm so scared to take it apart, guys. But I'm gonna do it because I really don't want to sit here and redate this whole thing. Um, and it'll be easier than trying to find some tabs, you know? So, I think the easiest way to start this is just to go, I don't wanna pull these too far out. I watched some YouTube videos on how to take apart O-rings before I jived in. Um, just because I was a little apprehensive. And I did a test run on like this devotional book that I had that was O-rings. And I actually ended up accidentally putting them in backwards. So that's It's important when you put it back together that whatever you want in the back is here. Because otherwise it doesn't close in the front. So just FYI. So I'm going to go like this. Just pull everything out. I'm gonna go nice and slow. I might should have done it in sections, but oh gosh, this just got scary. I did also take a picture of what the binding looked like before I took it apart, just so that I know exactly where it needs to be. All right, this isn't. leave the extras tab on though because that can stay in the back. I don't really need to change the order of that. I wouldn't think about it. So we're going to go until we get to that tab and then we're going to start putting stuff back on. And hopefully that'll help me not get confused on what the orientation of these needs to be. Okay. So we've got that. Okay. So, okay. Oh, and I didn't notice that apparently after each quarter, there's a quarterly compass. I wonder if I should move those because I'm doing mine at a weird time. That's a good question. Hold on, September. Okay, so for sure this one needs to be at the front. Um, um, yeah, I need to switch that. So September, September, October, December should have, wait, am I thinking about that right? No, there should be four. My brain is like totally dead. Okay, so in my universe, quarter four should be after November. So we're gonna go every, every three months, September, October, November, right? Okay, so then I've got that. And then um, December, okay. And then, so basically I need to go in and move every quarterly one up one. Okay, so it's gonna be end of March and then I'll go December, January, February. So I'm going to be off of the rest of the world, but don't ever let like the way everybody else does things make it seem like you have to do it that way. Do what works for you. And we might get to a few months in and this might not work for me and I can just switch it back if I need to. Okay. So next one should be after June and then I'm gonna move it one month gonna move it to the front of right I hope I'm not screwing this up I really don't want to take this apart again um, June Jan okay so if I go September October November December January March April, May, June, yeah. And then the one that's in the end of August, or so. Huh. 
there should be one that loops three. Oh, because there's one at the beginning of the year. Okay, so then that's good. That's all I gotta change, right? Because August will be the end of a year for me and then I would start a new one. Because there wouldn't be, maybe. Okay. Okay, so this goes. Here, so we do one September, and there'd be one at the end of December or the end of November, and then I go December, okay, December, and then January, and then February. All right, sorry guys, I had to take a call. Um, but I did figure out I've got all the quarterly ones exactly where they're supposed to be, the quarterly compasses. I'm sorry if I was in the middle of a train of thought because I've already lost it. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm kind of flipping them this way because I got to put them, because I want this one to be last, I got to put it on first. It's kind of trippy, but... That's what's going on with this. Um, let's see, baby, go lay down. Like, literally, I've given you everything. Um, let's see. Oh, this one is. This is, um, there we go. It's gonna be a little annoying, so just try to be patient if you do this, but. Okay, I've got August, see? How now August is my last thing before the extras, which is what we wanted. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna try to do three months at a time. You could clip these together and then it would go a little faster. Actually, it might be what I do. Okay, hold on. So let's do three months. Now, I can go like that. Do more than just one month at a time, because otherwise that would have taken like 5,000 years. Ta-da. May, June, July, August. Cool. We are headed for something. four months. This actually, so far, is going. It's easier than I thought, but the part I'm most concerned about is putting the O-rings back. Um, just because if you get them bent the wrong way, it's not going to turn very smoothly. So, um, trying to keep them, it would be easier if I opened them further, but I'm trying to not do that. I'm trying to keep them as close to their original location as possible as I go through this because I want this to be good as new when I'm done. Um, okay, there we go. This might be a little too many pages. That was a little trickier. There we go. All right. So, let's take that off. Just make sure that everybody's doing well. So, oops. wow. Completely bent that one. Sorry, April Chloe. Um, okay, I think we're doing good. Take the next four. And 
people are shooting off fireworks in my neighborhood right now, and I'm not really sure why, because it's a random weekend in August, and it's also not even dark out yet, so. <laughs> oh, come on. got October in. We just need to add this last bit of papers and then we'll be almost done. The covers are going to be a little tricky because I don't remember which way they were in, but we'll figure it out. It's all going to be okay. This page is a little messed up, isn't it? Um, I just put these in. Come on. Da, 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 da. Okay. Ta da. Why is this? Doing something weird. Hold on. Okay. See, now we got September through August. Ta okay, so now I think the front cover needs to go on. And then I know what it is. So the front cover needs to go this way. And then the back cover needs to go on that way okay and then in theory oops, I've got okay so now I just need to push these all together and I took some photos hold on camera did I use okay Let's see if I can oh my screen is really dirty hold on okay also, it's cracked, so you may or may not be able to see this very well, but I need to get each of these basically back to here. So we're going to start with the top and just kind of push. And I can always pull them back if needed. I'm trying to be mindful of the spacing and not try to bend these sideways because then the pages aren't going to turn very well. Okay. I'm just going to be patient with it. This one, you'll see some of these are going to work better than others. I can't almost get it off. Okay. I'm just going to keep working on it. It. Look at that! I did it! Oh, no, I did not. See? <laughs> okay, hold on. They're still open enough that the back cover can fall out, so I'm gonna push these a little bit further just so that that doesn't happen. I think this one is probably too much. This one's not enough. Okay. What? Let's see. Well, how are they in the? They were like almost all level exactly. So some of them are a little different, but I think that should be good enough, right? I'm not sure it matters a whole lot. Let's see. Yeah, we did it. So obviously, at some point, I'm gonna have to go through for January and December and redate all of these. Um, like there and there. Um, I'm probably just gonna buy a bunch of sticker sheets and then when I'm with my family over Christmas and we're like watching movies or whatever, I'll just sit there and stick, 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 you know? But for now, it's good enough. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how I did that. 
and I think that's where I'm going to leave you friends. I haven't decided if I'm going to set my goals on camera or not, but make sure you subscribe. And if I do, you'll see it here. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you had a great time. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.